everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be decorating for fall this is going to be part one of two and we're going to be decorating in the kitchen and living room I am super excited to decorate for fall this year it is my favorite season to decorate for the only thing I love more is decorating for Christmas but when it comes to seasons fall is definitely my favorite I love using a ton of the traditional fall colors, lots of oranges and yellows. I like to throw in a bunch of scarecrows and pumpkins. So I think that this video is going to be tons of fun today. I am super excited to share all of it with you all. And I hope that this video gives you all some ideas for how to decorate your home if you're looking for some inspiration today. And I am also going to be sharing a delicious fall treat with you all today. We're going to be making little miniature apple pies with cinnamon rolls. I think it's going to be delicious. So make sure you stick around till the end of this video to check that out. And if you are new here today, welcome. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I really hope that you enjoy watching today's video. I love making tons of cleaning motivation, organization, homemaking, home decor, and seasonal decor videos. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscription button down below. And let's go ahead and dive into all of the decorating in today's video. I wanted to start off by showing you all all of the decorations we will be using in today's video. Everything that I just showed you in the floor and everything that is up here on the island is all stuff that I either had from last year and used last year or stuff that I got on clearance after fall last year. And then all of this stuff in the floor in the living room is brand new that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And if you would like any links for any of my decorations, including the ones from last year, just leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you. And we're going to go ahead and dive into all of the fall decor and the cleaning in today's video. The first thing that I wanted to do before I dove into anything was swap out my Lavender Mrs. Myers for the apple cider scent and this is my absolute favorite scent of all of the Mrs. Myers products so I always love when fall comes around and I'm able to pull these scents out again and I wanted to go ahead and switch them out before I started anything else that way I could clean using these scents today. I picked up this sign from Hobby Lobby last year and used it in this corner over here and I absolutely loved it so I decided to go ahead and use it in the same spot this year and I added a little scarecrow and a couple of the little pumpkin picks tucked underneath the sign so they don't move around and I absolutely love the way that this little corner turned out. I didn't end up doing anything too crazy in the kitchen today when it came to decor, but one of the main things that I knew for sure that I wanted to do was add a couple cute little fall touches to this charcuterie board display. So I picked up that little miniature pumpkin everything charcuterie board from Hobby Lobby along with the little ladder. And I also picked up another ladder to put on the tiered tray and those were the main two that I specifically wanted. And of course they both came in two separate packages. So I ended up with two extra ladders that I'm not going to use, but I might end up repurposing them for a different holiday so if you would like to see that in a video leave a comment down below and let me know.
I was working with a bunch of new stuff with the tear tray this year. Last year I had a bunch of random little pumpkin salt and pepper shakers and these little like foam pumpkins that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in one of those little multi packs that they have. And I just didn't have a lot of stuff for it last year. I did have the little Hello Fall sign, the charcuterie board, and the espresso mugs. But everything else pretty much that I'm using today is brand new. So it was a lot of rearranging, trying to get it to look the way that I wanted it to, not liking it, redoing it a little bit. But I ended up finding a perfect way that I absolutely love. But I would love for y'all to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you have a tiered tray? And if you have one, do you struggle the way I do when I'm decorating mine? I always want it to look perfect and I struggle so much getting it to look the way I want it to. I feel like I'm going to end up saying this about every space today, but I love the way the coffee bar turned out. I'm obsessed with that new little sign, and I think that it goes so perfectly with the colors of all of my mugs, and I love the addition of the two new Ray Dunn mugs. And I was originally planning on getting more Ray Dunn mugs for fall, but I think that it's perfect just having the two of them. I love the little gnomes and the pumpkins. So I'm probably gonna end up sticking with just the two Ray Dunn mugs because I've been trying really hard to find that line between having Ray Dunn and having way too much Ray Dunn. And I think that having the combination of the two mugs with all of my little decorative mugs was the perfect way to go. But we know that we're all done. 
day You wrap me around your fingers and you stay I don't ever wanna be alone again while I was decorating today, I decided to go ahead and pull out this basket that I have had for several months now. And I originally tried it out at the end of spring, beginning of summer when I was decorating with my beach stuff. And I didn't like it at the time, but I wanted to go ahead and give it another try today. I love the way it looks with these placemats, but because I wasn't planning on any decorations for this particular area, I was kind of just playing around with my extra decorations that I didn't have a plan for. And I don't love the way this centerpiece turned out, so if you all have any suggestions of what you think that I should do with it, I would love to hear any of those in the comments down below, and I will probably be doing something different with this at some point this season. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope all right, we're gonna go ahead and dive into decorating the living room. We still have to take care of the island in the kitchen, but it is still covered in decorations at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and do everything in the living room and then we'll move back into the kitchen to finish the island. I always like to plan out my decorations for each season. That way I can figure out if I'm able to use everything that I already have. Do I need to go to the store and pick anything up? And when it came to the living room this year, I had no clue how I wanted to decorate this new furniture. And I especially struggled with coming up with an idea for the hutch. And then all of a sudden one night I was sitting on the couch editing a video and I looked up at the hutch and I thought of the idea of turning it into a pumpkin patch. So that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna add some scarecrows and lots of pumpkins and I love the way that it turned out I hope that you all love it as well because I think it's super cute and this little part right here watching this little scarecrow take a nosedive onto the shelf made me laugh so much when I first started editing this I knew that it had fallen when I walked away but I did not know that it looked so funny on camera so leave a comment down below let me know if that made you laugh as well What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Just 
Before we tackle the rest of the decorating in the living room, I wanted to go ahead and pick up all the decorations, move the coffee table out of the way, and vacuum up all the hay that fell while I was putting the hay bales up on the entertainment center. I didn't want the cats to try to eat it or get tracked all over the apartment or stuck into the rug, so I wanted to get it up as soon as possible.
If you were here last year, then you already know that I absolutely love these little lanterns that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. I have two of them. I ended up putting one on the coffee table and we will be putting the second one on the island. There are two of my favorite decoration pieces that I have for fall, so I of course had to make them a part of a centerpiece. Be coming home. Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home I plan to let you know The longing of my heart The wish I carry high Whenever we're apart Takes me through the night when I look deep into your eyes. When I look deep into your eyes, when I'll be coming home. I almost forgot about decorating these cute Ray Dunn boxes that I have on the left side of the entertainment center and I am so glad that I didn't forget them because this turned out so cute. I think that this might be my favorite part of the living room. I'm not sure though because I really love how the entertainment center turned out and I think the whole living room in general just turned out super cute and cozy for fall so I would love to hear what you all think about it if you like the way it turned out as well. in the 
the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get. Countryside is so pretty, with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Just anyone, I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you making me wanna try forever. Feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So if y'all were here for Christmas last year, then you might remember the glass cutting board that my super sweet neighbors picked up for me at a Christmas store in Cincinnati. And they had gone up there over the weekend and they knew that I was decorating for fall today. So they decided to grab me a couple for fall, which I thought was so sweet of them. And they are super cute cutting boards. I ended up putting the big one over in this corner where I had the Christmas one last year, but I have not yet decided what I'm going to do with the little one. So if you have any ideas of where I should put it, leave me a comment down below. So free, oh my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I'll always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. And it is now time to make those delicious cinnamon roll apple pies that I was telling you about earlier. And literally all you need is a can of cinnamon rolls and a can of apple pie filling. These are the ones that I am using. I also grabbed a cutting board because I wanted to dice up the apple pie filling instead of using the slices. And then I just grabbed one of my Wilton cupcake pans. I'm going to spray that with Pam before I take the cinnamon rolls and smash them in to make little cups into the cupcake pan and then just add in the filling, bake them for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. And then I'm also going to take some of the icing that came with the cinnamon rolls and drizzle it on top of them. And I am obsessed with this dessert. It is so delicious. And I'm actually thinking about making it for Thanksgiving this year because my family loves to have pies, but they're such a pain having to try and cut them and serve them for everyone. And they tend to fall apart when you're cutting into them. So I think that this would be perfect to take somewhere as a dessert. I don't mind the glow 
I have walked this street a thousand times or more, and I hope that I still do when I'm born. Here, memories flash in front of me. I've done a million times before. I have seen this room and walked this floor before, and the walls know every story I have told. Memories flash in front of me. All right, y'all, that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope that this video gave y'all tons of decor inspiration today, and I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscription button down below to join my YouTube family. I would love to have you a part of it. Always remember that you can leave a comment down below if you want any links to anything, if you have any questions for me, or if you just want to chat in the comments down below. I would love to hear whatever you all have to say about today's video, and I hope that you all have a great day and a great week, and I will see you all on Thursday for Fall Decorate With Me Part 2.